All right, welcome back. Now, time for us to talk about some things that we on the trend for inside Wibodo Nigeria and International. Now, on the 25th of November, we'll be actually start um, the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. Now, talking more concerning this and the plans where they get for inside um, Warif. Now, you've got to wonder what in Warif be. Warif, now, the Women at Risk International Foundation. We get uh, Gemi Sola. Ogunwe Bay inside the house. So, some just more information concerning this. Good to have you. Thank you very Welcome much. Welcome to the show. Thank so you. So, we could just um, briefly talk about why we're waiting to be the goal and objective of Women at Risk International Foundation. Okay, so WARIF is an NGO that was um, established in 2016, you know, because the founder, Dr. Kemi Da Silva Ibu, um, realized that there was a high prevalence of gender-based violence, you know, human trafficking, sexual assault. So she decided that something needed to be done. So the things that we do at WARIF is that we help to give in, um, intervention, treatment to these women and girls that have been um, survivors of sexual assault and abuse. And also we have a preventive approach where we go into schools and the community to help educate them so that they know what they can do to help prevent cases of sexual assault. Now let's talk about the 16 days activism where they actually share now against gender-based violence. How important it actually be on us finding uh, or rather taking action uh, on gender-based violence for inside Wibodo, Nigeria? Uh, well, since we've come to know that this thing, they happen for Nigeria. So it's important that something needs to be done. So these 16 days of activism, now just to create that awareness, mm -hmm. because this time last year, they do, but not many people heard about it. Mm -hmm. So as the years go by, the more we keep doing it, the more awareness is coming out. So people know, say, okay, this thing, they happen. Make a look around, you know, my community to see where they happen. If I can encourage people where it happened to make them speak out. So the major essence of this activis activism thing is just to get more people aware. Say this thing, no, just they happen for outside for Bodo Ibu, but it they happen here for Nigeria as well. So it's that awareness. At least by the time people become aware and they know uh, which what can I do to help and all that, they'll be willing to render their help in any way. Very beautiful. I don't see some of our objectives and goals now with one I'll actually work with. And I know so in the past when I do certain projects for boys as well, yes. not just for girls. Now tell us about some projects we'll already do for this year 2019. Okay, for the boys own way you talk, we call them Boys Conversation Cafe. So what we do is that we get um, male mentors to have a series of classes with boys in secondary schools to help them understand that they should be able to fight for women. So you know because the perpetrators mainly are males. Not that boys are not as sexually abused, but majority are females. So we want to help groom these boys to make them you know, become perpetrators like these other people, but to help them to make them they protect women, to see every woman out there like their sister or their mother so that they can protect them rather than, you know, be a part of this. So if they see any kind of thing like that happening, they're supposed to stand up for the girls. So we also have the WESP, which is um, the education program for the girls in secondary schools as well. So we, they teach them to be aware how to protect themselves and all of that, just sex education so that they understand that putting yourself in certain situations may, you know, make you prevalent to... Um, you know, sexual abuse and all that. So we've also done, we started um, this um, education in workplaces as well, talking about, because these things happen in workplaces, in gender-based violence. So I think <coughs> we worked with Bella Niger this year, mm. earlier on this year, went, our founder went and gave a talk about how to prevent sexual assault in the workplace. So, and we've also worked with uh, the Catholic community. We trained some of their volunteers on like first, you know, first responder approach to sexual assault and all of that. And we've also trained policemen. We go to police stations, we teach them what to do when these um, people are brought to their police stations. Because even the way they ask questions sometimes can be very demeaning. Mm -hmm. So helping them not to judge, to you know, create, um, helping them understand that the myths that they have about why people get sexually abused, like what were you wearing, why you follow man, go house, all those kind of things. So helping them understand that they need to be empathic so that when they're questioning, they can be more you know, sensitive to the survivors. Now, they're very obvious, so they're passionate about spreading, creating more awareness concerning sexual abuse, especially as it relates to rape. Uh, for inside Wibodo, Nigeria. Now, just recently, Nigeria we actually signed the first um, rape register, a sex, sex offense um, register for inside Wibodo, Nigeria. Now, you feel say that is a 
step in the right direction. Not forgetting, say, Lagos State and Ekiti State don't actually get their own um, register. They Ekiti call, them, call their own the black box and still people, they complain, say it is not being updated and maintained regularly. Well, it's still a good a step in the right direction. At least they, they still say that they do something. Mm. Because for a very long time, people are like, government, no, they do anything, they don't they they do anything. So we're hoping, say, since they don't establish this register, that they would actually make use of it mm. and they'll be updating it as time goes on. So it's, we should commend them for the effort mm -hmm. and let us see how far, how far it goes. goes. So tell us about the project where you get, because I know it's another event and slash exactly. campaign yes. is coming up very soon. Make we hear about that. All right. So earlier on this year, we launched a campaign called the No Tolerance Campaign just to create awareness and just let people out there know that sexual assault should not be tolerated in any form. So we got some celebrities and social media influencers to wear a t-shirt and make a one minute video just to tell people out there and it was a huge success and we thought ah, rather than just leave it in this digital world let's bring it to the physical so we decided that also in the celebration of this 16 days of activism make we do this no tolerance march where people young and old men and women from all over Nigeria can join us in this march in this campaign against sexual violence so it's happening on December 7th okay yes at um, it's on the Lekki Koili bridge the starting point is road chef 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so and yeah, so we are calling out as many people as possible that want to come out to join us and uh, for the so march. So it's a walk. It's yeah. Because apart it's from march, that, which, it's which it's other things we go actually do apart from creating walk. awareness? Is there any other thing we wanna go do while you're doing the walk? Uh, well, basically, just majorly creating the awareness, right. sharing out the flyers, and uh, letting them know that you know we're available because our services are free. Mm. Yeah, we give medical services. There's a lab technician who takes the blood test in cases of sexually infected diseases and all that to test for those. We have medical doctors who do the vaginal examination and all. And then we have counselors on ground as well who do the psychosocial aspect of it. So because definitely anybody who goes through sexual assault is traumatized Very in some true. way. So yeah, and all the services are free. So also giving them that information that we're not just coming out here to say, say no to sexual assault, but we offer... This service is free. So if you know charge. anybody who's, you know, been abused in any form, please refer them to us. We'll be willing to, you know, to Now, tell us them. the distance. I mean, I know so the, the point, the starting point now from the um, road, road chef, chef. What, to work out to where. So All for some the people, they, some people, they want to say, oh, it's not a four hours work out or a <laughs> no, two hours work out. No, it's not too long. Now, just that lucky queen. The link bridge and yeah. back. And, and then go back. Oh, back. Yeah. beautiful. Yes. So now, for person where they can. actually watch us now, where we say maybe they get person where they don't go through sexual um, assault or them personally they don't actually go through sexual assault and that they try to come over, um, how do they actually reach you? Okay, we get um, social media platforms. We do on Instagram, we do on Twitter, we have our website and also our phone number. If you talk our phone number now. Well, the website, let's start with the website. The website, website is www.warifng.org. Make okay. I talk them again www.warifng.org and warif is the spell um w a r i f f n g n g and then, um, social media social media is warif n g warif underscore n g then the hotline just underscore. quickly yes that's zero eight zero nine two one zero 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 nine all right if you call them one more time slowly zero eight zero nine two one zero 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 nine all right thank you so much for coming to the building uh, we wish you all the very best in your project and we're counting down to december 7th, 7th for, for the, the walk, walk yes. from road chef um, all the way to the lekki koi mm -hmm. link bridge and back and that is it and all this yes. one are just to raise awareness and yes. to do the campaign to let people know say this seven we day here to take care or to handle and to give advice to people who don't actually go through some sort of sexual violation or abuse and say this service is not free of charge and you don't need to get shame you don't mm -hmm. need to fear you don't need mm -hmm. to feel intimidated mm -hmm. because they actually get enough support system even from the legal point to the medical side as well to make sure yeah. say you will be taken care of from the moment you step into their doors thank you so much for okay. coming i forgot to mention the registration mention. for the march so we could also do that on our social media platforms on the website on instagram and twitter as well okay so you have to, register. to register for yes us. registration is free but they have to pick up a t-shirt for 2500 oh. Beautiful. All right. thank you yes. so much with misola oguri for coming thank to the you building for we wish you the very me. best on the project thank you it's been a pleasure to enjoy more of this our ugonga videos when you just watch 
press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.